What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B. Hot Buddy. Yo, shout out Stepping in the building. I got my Texas fam off in this thing. A friend and family member to the show, Propane. My what's dog. good with it, man? Oh, what's good, baby? Hey, first of all, Pro, man, I've been sitting over here marinating on this new album, okay. man. I mean, okay. you done went in this thing and Yo. blacked the hell out of this man. thing, boss. That's man. how you feel, Pro? Man, man, I appreciate it, bro. That's, yeah, it's, uh, I worked I worked hard on this one, man. I took my time on this one, bro. Yo. And I'm, uh, I'm real, real, real proud of the outcome of this one, man. Okay, then. Yo. Break Yo. down the album to me, though, Yo. man. What was the creative process behind this thing, sir? All right, so title is Made From Scratch. Yeah. And I tell you a crazy story of how it became, man. Um, So the last album I made, uh, which came out in 2021, mm -hmm. I was actually out here when I released it. Matter of yeah. fact, came in, hollered at you. Exactly. And uh, I remember, um, like, that next day, me and Big Creed had got in the studio. Mm. And... uh. Man, we just came up, we just did a dope record. We had been talking about working with each other, and the chemistry was real live. I, yeah. It was real dope. To the point where I was like, you know, even just the production on it, I was like, bro, let's uh, let's tap back in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Let's do some more records. And we ended up probably doing like maybe five more records, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And to the point where I was like, all right, we're just him producing on the majority of them. And I was like, bro, I think I'm going to put out a project solely produced by Big Crit, you know what mm. I'm saying? And, um... I think throughout that process, like Crip, first of all, that dude's like a genius. You know what I'm saying? He's a bad man. That's yeah. one of the, one of the one of the most talented dudes I ever worked with. Yeah. Ever. And uh, I just know, um, you know, at the same time, Chris still an artist, bro. You know That's what I'm right. saying? So Chris still got everything he got going on. So me, with me being like this perfectionist that I am, yeah. it was a lot of uh, just musical parts that we wasn't able to. So much me come lock in as much as I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? And I know it, I just over time I was like I was like man bro uh I don't want to jeopardize the 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 quality of what I'm known to put out yeah. just because our uh, schedules are being conflicted you know yeah. what I'm saying and so I was like man you know what I'm I'm a I got to just scratch it bro I got to start over you know what I'm saying yeah. and and build it up and that's where the whole title made from scratch come from mm. you know what I'm saying and, but I still kept some of that crack that me and him made on there. Don't get it right. twisted, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, and that and that made the album still. But uh, I end up going to go tap in with with producers that I'm, you know what I'm saying, really close with and, and was comfortable working with. Okay. And just to build up a whole project instead of putting out like a seven song EP. Yeah. I built up an album and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna take it from there. And that's where the title made from scratch come from. And at the same time, it's symbolic of just me as an artist and everything that I done built in these 12 years, 13 years as a, a independent rapper, man, I'm really from scratch, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I really did this on my own to where I am today. I'm a, I'm a legend where I'm from, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, and I did that, I took the stairs, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the made from scratch <laughs> come from. I you on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, that's also where the title come from. And uh, yeah, bro, it was just, it's real soulful, it's real personal, this album, I mean, it's, it's me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that your wish with uh, Crit, man. That man. thing going crazy as hell. The visual was off the damn chain. Come Break on, that bro. banker Crit. down to me, man. Man, that, that's just a testament to Crit. Like I said, yeah. Crit is, uh, that was actually the first record that we did. He what? played that, man, and I was like, that's vintage Crit, bro. <laughs> that's just vintage that Crit. The Crit. beat, everything, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We locked in, and uh, uh, that record was already, that was, that's the first record that was made for this album. Yeah. Man, I, I sat with that record for a minute, just loved it. You just know what I'm saying? It, and yeah. uh, just loved it, bro. And uh, yeah, bro, that's that Southern soulful. And, and Crip, one of the ones, man, we've been talking about working for years, bro. We mm. run into each other so much. Yeah. We was at uh, uh, some shit in Houston one time, man, and we was like, bro, we gonna really lock in. Yeah. And by the time we ended up doing it, that's what we came up with, bro. Ooh. And it was a. Uh, now that that's one of the ones right there. I mean, break down the visuals to me though, sir. Yeah. Because I mean, all of those visuals look like movies, man. Man, bro. And shout out to my videographer Timothy Lenz. Tim. He 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 the truth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, he's somebody who the the situation how it came about was a fan of the music. Okay. A real fan of the music and yeah. really understood the the artist. So with his vision, when he came to me, he had already had a vision of where he wanted to kind of want to take this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I think that was the dopest thing about it because I was kind of able to let him do him. That's right. And what he been showing me, bro, he just, he really like, 
the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, I saw some GOAT shit when you and Tim got together on that karma, sir. Man. Okay, first of all, the story behind it just wore me yeah. all the way the hell out. Yeah. By the time I got to the end of that video, man, I had almost passed out, sir. Man. I mean, <laughs> break down that banger right there and then talk to me about why was it important for you to tell that truth like that? Because, yeah. I mean, that was too real. Man, so... I always prided myself on being a storyteller since yeah. I came in the game. And I, I feel like um, it's just one of my talents, bro, to be very, very vivid with it. Yeah. And, uh, man, that story, that story was just like, that's. I mean, we, we all go, we all done been through something similar to that. You exactly. know what I'm saying? We all done grew up in them type of uh, environments. And uh, it was just a story, bro, because... it's so much going on with the pills and all this other yeah. shit going on, bro. It's like... It was just one of them ones, bro, that, Ooh. like, it'll really make you think. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It started off with the dude who decades ago was silly exactly. crack. You doing know what I'm saying? Thing. Doing his thing, bro, and, and and ruined some families. You know what Come I'm saying? On. Ruined some families. And then decades later, some of them families you ruined, the karma has came back on you. It's a new day and time now, higher move. But uh, it's still the same thing, bro, and it just it'll really make you think. And that video is just a movie, bro. That video is like... That's one of them videos where the song was already something you could see. Yeah. But Tim took the video just to another level. Made he it made real. it a movie. I think exactly. that's like my favorite video I ever did. I mean, when you just think about that storyline in itself, though, man. I yeah. mean, what has been the reception and the response from the fans when they seen it? Because when I seen it, yeah. I was like, this boy right here is one of the greatest storytellers of all damn time. Come on, bro. Appreciate that, yeah. man. And uh yeah, bro, the the um the admiration for that song been it been up there. That's been one of the ones that everybody's been talking about. Okay. And I kind of knew that was gonna be the yeah. ones that so we been had that video tucked away. Oh, we was ready. We was yeah. ready this summer, you know what I'm saying? And we exactly. knew it. it. But it's 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 definitely one of the more popular songs on the um on the album. Everybody, the reception to it is crazy. It's it's one of them cliffhangers, bro. You ain't expect that ending. You know Come what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah. I uh, mean that uh H Town remix though with Zero and Sauce Walker though, yeah. man. I them, mean, them break that homies. one down right there. Them the homies, bro. Them the homies. A bunch them. of legends getting together on the yeah, track, though. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Them my brothers, man. Zero and Sauce Walker is definitely my brothers. And that's um man, that record is 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 crazy. Like a 3.5 million views on YouTube Ooh. already. Like the the not just the city, because you don't really gotta be from H Town to feel that. But but it's a H Town feel. So the same way when I'm listening to some Atlanta music and yeah. I want the Atlanta feel. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I want the game need to go back to where when you listen to an artist, I wanna be able to feel where you from. When exactly. I jam Nipsey, I was in LA when Come I'm on, jamming man. him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what H Town is. H Town is Man, we're gonna take you through these, through the south side, through the north side. We're gonna take you through third ward, fifth ward, all in this music. You're gonna understand this culture. Yeah. So whether you're not from here or you're from here, you're gonna be able to feel it and be able to embrace it. And that's why I think we did. When you talk about that Houston culture though, man, I mean, what yeah. is that rap scene looking like in Houston right now, sir? Man, it's uh I, I can honestly say, bro, I, I I got so much love for all the rappers in Houston, bro, from yeah. the legends to the newer artists. It's a lot of camaraderie. Um, something that we probably really ain't really been used to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Ooh. I credit I credit a lot of that to South Walker because yeah. Walker is one of the ones who he always had a vision for working with all the artists. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we like minded. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I've always had a connection to the OGs yeah. as well as the the rappers under me. So and that's something that I, they call me the glue. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, I think uh, right now the scene is is. It's doing its thing, bro. You got a lot of artists that's killing it right now. You got a lot of artists that's holding it down, uh, not just for Houston, but for Texas, period. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. When you speak of yourself being the glue, man, right. I mean, go more into depth with that when you talk about kicking it with the OGs right. and working with them and then also bringing up the young folks at for the sure. same time. Yeah. Man, not to... Uh, uh, try to brag or nothing, but it ain't. Sometimes it you ain't, got to. It ain't too many that can do what I do in Houston. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too many that... that Got Zero, Slim Thug, Bum B, Paul Wall, <laughs> Kiki. These is like, it, but at the same time, I got the little Germans, the OTB yeah. fans, the Sauce Walkers. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, and, and we all fam. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's 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 always gonna be a a a, a gap when you talking generations. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be a gap, and that's probably anywhere. Just because they so far removed. Exactly. Like, you got a uh, Bun or a Slim. They from their world, and they do it how they did it in their generations or how exactly. they do it. And then you got the younger artists. So it's kind of a, a, a gap. Yeah. And I've always been like that middle child. You know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah. I've been the one who just, at the time, when I came in, I came in on some young 
some young young nigga shit, but at the same time, I always paid homage and had respect for the OGs. Yeah. And, and that just kind of like, over the years, it kind of worked out in my favor. 